Hi, this is Lost in Electronics. Um, today we're going to compare uh, two different firewalls we kind of had before. We kind of had comparisons between PFSense and uh, OpenSense. Uh, the name we we have another one of the what it shows is another open source uh, firewall, which is IP Fire. Um, we're kind of going to kind of go through some of the differences here. We're going to go ahead and go through all the tasks on the IP uh, fire one. We kind of went through some of the ones in the PS Sense in there, but we'll go ahead and just kind of take a quick review on through a couple different tabs. But mainly, we're going to go ahead and review the IP firewall, and then we're going to show you the differences between that, and then look a little bit at the UDM Pro. We can kind of compare, and then we want to go ahead and show you what the the PS Sense. Uh, we're going to go ahead and show just like the basics of PS Sense. Um, the biggest one here, here's are the kind of tabs. We'll go through each of the tabs here, the home, mail services, backup, GUI settings, or GUI user interface. So we do have a couple different there. System information. I do a shut we don't want to do a shutdown here. Hardware vulnerabilities here tells us everything here. This is kind of a nice thing. It does tell you the process migration, what your what it potentially your information here pulls the TV number so you can see if your devices are uh, vulnerable or anything. So this is a really that's a kind of a nice tool here. See, this is a little bit more simplistic than what if you were to look at some like PSN's firewall, and it gives you a lot more options than what like something like a UDM firewall looks out. And this layout's not the, it's pre it's pretty intuitive for what you see there. So you can see that there's a lot of different tabs, time and date servers. So we got our NDP server here, quality of services. Here's our IDS system here. So you can block our different types of different uh, BitTorrent and PDP servers here. Look, it gives us a clear access of what you're blocking here. You can do geo filtering. Just your traffic going through your firewall here. So 
is all your logs and reports. So a lot less than what you can do with something like a PSense firewall, which is probably still, I'd say, is probably one of the better firewalls you have out there. And we got our PSense firewall, which you can see here. You have the capabilities of fans, verification management, packaging manager, routing, setup wizard, updates, user management, assigned, WAN addresses, ALS is NAT, EOGNN, controls, scheduler, traffic shaping, virtual LAN adapters, auto configuration backups, Captor portal, PSS service relays, These are kind of the comparisons if you want to see what's going on here. MTP server again. Start to point access over. Okay, SMTP, so our email client here. Siricata, so our uh, nice IDS. And wake online on that one. Then our VPN options. Then status. Dashboard. Back to the narrow one here. DCP leases. Filter layout. Gateway. Interfaces. MTP servers. So you can see this is a lot of the capabilities here that you're just not going to find in some of the it just this is probably one of the best uh, PS sense firewalls is a hard one to compete against here harp table indication command line DNS lookup at file factor defaults Alt system, station information, MTP payable, MNAP, which is nice. You can just run an MNAP right from here. Pa packet capturing, routes, sockets, updates, update and summary. Table, test, and trace route. And of course, we got the old help documents. So, if you can see, there is a lot more intuitive than some of the other ones here. We'll go ahead and go to UDM Pro here. Let me go ahead and log in here for a second. Make sure if you haven't already with your UDM Pro, if you haven't already changed your password, because there was a security breach recently. Uh, at UDM, so uh, you want to make sure that you have changed your password there. Settings. So we're going to do the threat management, which is pretty close to that here. And then you also want to go ahead and go ahead and routing the firewall rules. So if you can see just how much more simple this is, but it doesn't give you as many options as what are you even like an IP firewall or PSNs. But if you want the king of firewalls, I'd still have to say that is PSNs here. But we're just kind of going through the top 10 firewalls and then comparing it to something that is already built into one of the routers that I have here. So we can kind of see what it is like between everything there. So this is just a... Um, we're just trying to go through different options there. Um, we're kind of having the capability of 
kind of breaking down on just the difference between the firewalls and kind of making it allow everyone to kind of have a choice and see what's kind of showing what the difference between them are there, the interfaces differences, um, maybe what you want to use, uh, what your needs are from it. Um, from a simplistic standpoint, IP firewall probably, sorry, IP fire was a probably one of the easier setup. It is another open source. If you want to still the king of firewalls, you're still the PS Sense because it's going to be hard to compete with it. But they do have a lot of uh, features. Um, then we can look if you want to kind of compare it to the Open Sense. We'll have another video about comparing it versus PS Sense versus Open Sense versus, uh, sorry, IP, sorry, IP. Uh, Fire versus Open Sense, and then the Dreamcast, uh, a Dream Machine Pro. Um, we'll go ahead and set them all up and kind of test them because that's another thing. Is I'm going to go ahead and go try to go through each of the comparisons between the top ten firewalls, PS Sense, which is always the king. So it's kind of comparing to that, uh, to just kind of a um, mid a small um, business class router, kind of show you what the kind of default interfaces are because I do have a lot of videos about UDM Pro. So I want to kind of compare it to that. Kind of showing what's kind of built into a router and then have something again um, and then try to go and try to use like either IP firewall open sense and then we'll go ahead and also look at the next set I'm gonna look at the next open source firewall and then we'll go and review it go through each of the settings and then see which one you like the best so that way you have more of a comparison because again there's only so much time everyone's going to use and again time is more valuable about anything else because again uh, this is kind of gives you an over, overview of just some basic information. Um, kind of on that we're going to go here. We have a lot more videos in the future. Um, if you want to check out one of my other ones, if you want to see kind of how it compares against like maybe OpenSense, um, we do have that. Uh, we have in our video. Um, if you want to see the letter that uh, talking about the ubiquity uh, data breach, I do have that on my one of my other videos. And we're having a lot of future content eventually coming up. Um, this is kind of doing reviews first, and then after we get done with the review series, um, then we're going to go ahead and start configuring these firewalls, and then again, the, we're going to have the fun part, which after configuring them, and test them out, because again, your firewalls will only be as good as the tools they can protect against. So again, those are the things we need to make sure that we can do. We can look at the advantages and disadvantages and see maybe what one works best for you and what, and what your situation, what kind of hardware you have, and uh, what you're trying to make your goals are. Do you have an IT department? Do you not have an IT department? Are you looking at, uh, get, are you looking for the best security? You just want some easy configuration. Um, and then where do you want to go from there? Because it is, it is kind of a few differences of seeing what you want to do. Once on simplistic, just go ahead and someone like a Dream Machine Pro with that hardware built in um, would be probably very easy to use. If you want to have it so you don't, you want to have a little bit of configuration, um, then go build a machine and then th th you can, they give you multiple choice of, I'm just showing you open source software that you can be able to use that everyone can download. It doesn't cost anything to download. These are things that some have additional features you can buy and add in, um, but there's also ones that just have it so that everything's there. I believe in using open source software. Again, um, that's where most of my channel is based off of Linux and um, using, I try to use as much as I can to open close software, even though the Dream Machine Pro is not open source. Um, I try to use as much as I can, at least and kind of show the differences between them. Because again, I, I believe that everything that's more open source gives you e easier way for you to configure and updates and kind of gives you a kind of overall review of what it's like here. Um, this is just going to be one of the just one of the kind of review videos this week here. Um, in the future weeks, what you're going to expect here in the future. After getting done the review series, I'm going to try to go to the top 10 um, firewalls that have the free community editions. I'm going to go through them, get them all set up on virtual machines, kind of compare them. And then we're if I also like some feedback, which one would you like to see? Which one would you like me to show on testing? How would you like, what would you like, what kind of conditions would you like to start seeing? Uh, those are things that you can always leave in the comments. And if you like the content I have, please subscribe to the channel and we'll uh, definitely try to bring content based off of what everyone's requesting. Uh, again, this is, uh, I enjoy making these videos and I like to make sure I can help everyone else. I think it's a kind of a community effort and the uh, more feedback we have, the more we can try to adjust these videos based off of what everyone wants to see.